good day, tamers. Um, a load of promos dropped today, and there's technically one that also dropped that we'll probably look at the end. But because of the O2 movie that's coming out, the Zero Two Adventure, we we got a load of new stuff coming out. Every single one of the protagonists and their Digimon got a new promo card. They're actually really good. And then this new kid who is like the first tamer. I don't know what that really means because he seems very young. Uh, we'll obviously know more during the film. Uh, from what far as I'm aware, it's the first of at least two films. Although there was a rumor going around that it's actually the first of a trilogy. I don't personally mind too much because uh, more Digimon's always good. So if we get into these quickly, but hopefully it won't be a long video. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll enjoy ourselves. So Gatamon promo, 120, has barrier as a keyword. And then inherited all turns, all of your opponent's screws and we get minus 2,000 DP. I'm going to be super duper honest. And that's Gatamon, or at least the Angie Woman line in BT15 looks absolutely boring right now. I'm hoping something changes in, with like the Gatamon from BT15 and that whichever Mega they use is good. Because that's, that's the biggest problem for me, is that they're both very mid. Um, Armadillomon. I love Armadillomon. I think he's one of the coolest Digimon because he's a little Armadillo. He's black now. Yeah, we changed him up a bit more. Uh, Armadillo, promo 121. On play with all the top three cards of your deck. Add one black and yellow card with two colors or more. And one Tamer card with Cody. Its name comes into your hand. You can still search for the yellow Cody. Don't worry about that. Turn the rest to the bottom of the deck. Inherited, end of your turn, you may DNA Digivolve with this Digimon. And one of your other Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand for its DNA. Digivolution cost. This is essentially what all of them say, all the rookies, which is really cool because obviously it solidifies the fact that you want them to be DNA decks. You also know that in BT16 we're getting a new form of Jogras. Be it like a Jogras with protection or be it just a Jogras that does something else. Maybe it will give you like Blitz. Well, it will have, we'll find a way when it comes out, but it's like Jogras part two. Uh, Patamon, on play, look at your security stack, add one black and yellow card with two more colors amongst them, then add, uh, and if any other card, recover one, and then shuffle your stack. Uh, this can obviously find tamers, it can also grab Digimon. The only thing this really suggests to me that both Armadillo and Patamon are gonna be um, like a black yellow base rather than a blue yellow base, which is fine. Just means that the old Takumon might not synergize so well with the new deck, which again is fine. But that's the way they want to go with this. Ukamon, your turn was return. When your Digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area, you may hatch a Digi Egg to the empty space in your breeding area, then gain more memory. I can see this being fairly good with like Mimi, if you can like do some shenanigans, like you know, Mimi stuff. I think it's just very cool anyway. I think it's very interesting. It works very well with its tamer. And then Vimon, your turn was return. When this Digimon will Digivolve into a Digimon card with three traits, if you have a tamer, reduce the cost by one. So having obviously cheap evolutions to go into um, XVMon or cheap evolutions to go into Stingmon is going to be really good. Inherit effect when attacking if this Digimon has two more colors, draw one. Um, again, you're going to probably you know have this in a stack. Wormon, rookie, free, larvae, on play, fill top three cards of your deck, add one blue green card with two or more colors and one tamer card with Ken in its name. Comes into your hand, place the rest of the bottom of your deck. At the end of turn, DNA evolution. It's very funny that all of our Wormons for the last was it now from since ST9 have all had the at the end of turn DNA Digivolve which they obviously know that Wormon has to be like the support character which is fine it's just very strange that you know Wormon is the support character every time Hawkmon on play will start three colors of your deck add one red and yellow card amongst them or more colors and then one Tema card with Yoli in its name amongst them to your hand turn the rest of the bottom of the deck the funny thing about uh, this is it's <laughs> It could technically be the option card searcher for Shine. It could also be the Shine and Roy searcher. It could also be some of the Geo Greymon searchers. It can also be a lot of the Marcus searchers. So I can see Hawkmon if Marcus, well, if Shine doesn't get like superly beaten on the, the limited list soon, uh, actually being played and being very good in the deck. At the end of turn, uh, DNA. Obviously, you don't DNA in that deck, although I've seen some people try and like mess with um, Amira for the sake of it, but I don't think you want to really bother with Chimera. New Cody, start of your main phase if you have a Digimon with three traits, gain a memory. Very similar to its old one. If you can play uh, the old one and have, I believe, they all have three, right? Yeah. Oh, no. All of them. 
so armadillo is free so if you can have the old armadillo the yellow armadillo have the old cody and the new cody in play you gain two memory it's pretty cool during the main phase uh where are we cody and then on play activate one of the following effects you may play one armadillo from your hand without paying the cost if you do obviously uh, you get to do a search blah blah blah, blah. or one of your digimon can digivolve into kill in your hand without paying the cost um i don't think the new and the newest Antilamon has the whole like just digivolve on top of a armadillo i could be very wrong there because i think the last ankylo we had was like a security one for like bt4 bt5 um so yeah like the new one's gonna obviously have like you know just digivolve from a armadillomon but for now it's kind of awkward that your one won't digivolve the black one uh, TK, so if you may face if you've more security than your opponent, just gain a memory and then on play activate one of the following effects. You may play a pattern mod from your hand without paying the cost. Then one of your Digimon can digivolve into Angemon in your hand without paying the cost. Um, I think quite a few of the Angemons do say evil from Patamon now because it's been so long. But because this is the yellow version, which is probably like the better version, you do have some good Angemons to digivolve into already. So you're not really worried about that one at all, especially from the uh, security from like, the secret rare from BT. 14 was obviously very good. So obviously getting to digital that a turn earlier is just amazing. Yul Hawada. On play, you may move one of your level three or higher Digimon from the breeding area to the battle area. Your turn when one of your Digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area. Spend this timer getting a memory. Um, I was at your turn and not just, you know, screw effect to play the card, on play, move it, gain a memory. Our oh, opponent doesn't get to play the game anymore. Probably would be technically better if you do it on all turns, but neither here nor there. Old Man Davis, start of your turn. If you have a Digimon with free and straight to gain a memory, on play after one of these effects, you may play a Vmon from your hand without paying the cost, and then one of your Digimon can digivolve into X Vmon in your hand without paying the cost, which is pretty good. That you know, if for whatever reason you know you had the Vmon only on the field, uh, you play this one down because you just want to get a tamer on the field and go go go. Again, we don't know what the effects of all the new stuff is, so it could be a case of like, hey, if you've got your tamer in play, just DNA when you want to kind of thing. Um. Or like during an attack, like the new one does at the end of attack, I think. Ken Ichi, the start of your main phase. If you have a Digimon free and straight to gain a memory, and then activate one of these, play a Wormon, move a Digimon to Digimon to Stingmon, without having the cost of your hand. I like that they have like what, like a secondary effect of like, you know, you can do this or you can do that. But at the same time, Avis might see play, Ken might see play. But I think the other ones are going to be like really hard to play effectively. But Yoli, start of your main phase. If you have a Digimon free and straight to gain a memory, on play, activate one of the following effects. You may play it one Hawkmon, or you may digivolt into an Inquila one. Without paying the cost. This could possibly see play in, um, like Bird Up, just because you do run Inquila kind of in one of the decks, but like with the new stuff coming out, you don't really have to worry about that anymore. And then Hawkmon, because cause it's a free thing, it does kind of mess up with the whole rest of the uh, deck because the deck wants to find vaccines. So again, not necessarily necessary, but it's definitely something you could see maybe in, um, like Hawk, Hawkmon specifically, not so much Yoli, uh, in like the Shine deck. And then Kari, start of your main phase. If you have fewer security cards than your opponent, gain more memory. On play, activate one of the effects. You may play a Salamon from your hand without paying the cost. One of your Digimon can digivolve into Gatamon in your hand without paying the cost. This one I don't mind so much because just being able to digivolve into Gatamon and then maybe cheat out your um, and you woman's like a little bit earlier because you're not paying like, the three memory to digivolve. That might help. Uh, how much is she to play? Use a free cost. Ah, it's not doing too much. But apparently, this Gatamon goes from red and red and red and red and yellow. Doesn't make sense because obviously they they join together. And then these guys join together, and then these two join together. Yeah, it makes sense. That's all this stuff here. We did see one more thing a couple of days ago. I think like last week. Now this point, I haven't really talked about it, and that is the new Imperial Mon Ace card. Uh, fortunately, it's not very big, and you can't really see it. Imperial Mon Dragon Mode. Uh, evolve from Power Digimon or Dino Beam one for a cost of three. Hand Blast Counter. On play when Digivolving, suspend one Digimon and then unsuspend one Digimon. Uh, all turns must return. When this Digimon becomes suspended, you may play one Tamer card or a Digimon card with four fast DP or less from your hand without paying the cost. And then Ace Overflow 4. Um, it's very awkward when you want to play this card because you don't want to go up into the new Imperial and then the new Imperial like kicks you out, which would then make your opponent get four memory. So you want to play the old Imperial, but then the old Imperial is not as good as the new Imperial. So it's kind of kind of weird, but maybe it's okay if you want to try and get yourself into like a speedy situation where, uh, you know, you do it on your opponent's turn, you have to play a, a Tamer for free. And then 
But I mean, to be fair, it's all terms of turn, so you can essentially use this times, use it as essentially tamer bait. If you can like knock out like two or three tamers, it might be worth the four overflows to be fair. Um, but you know, if we're all going to get like new aces for these, a lot of people are saying you're going to get the level five aces like Saku, um, Sylphie, and whoever the other one is. If there's no one, is there another one? Oh, there is no one. There's another one. Um, and they, they could be because we're getting four. We know that's so we're getting this, maybe the two other ones, and then like maybe just a maybe new Chimera. Um, but yeah, I, th I think for me personally, I'd like to see like the level sixes get some representation. Maybe we'll see that in the film, and that will be the difference in. Uh, what we have and what we don't have currently is like the Megas are actually useful in the film because I've had years to practice, I've had years to train, and we'll go from there. But uh, no, it's nice to see that we're actually getting some support for Imperial. It didn't do very well with BT12. It just, it's so slow and just drags on because it doesn't have a way to play Tamers, which half the deck wants to revolve around you playing Tamers and then having their effects to cheat out DNA, I believe. I don't know. It just feels just feels really, really janky that they they have like a, a whole like set where basically you just want to get your tamers out early as possible and just do tamer things and then they have this deck that just needs to work around its tamers it doesn't have access to it very well but I think that's it for this one new promos coming out it's really cool uh, this, sorry this is also promo uh, 109 so it does come out a lot earlier than the other promos but this is coming out in October for like the, their tamer like league thing that they're doing and then we get those promos I think with the film. And that comes out in November, I think. So yeah, you'll get the these pack of four earlier, and then you'll get the other stuff like the month afterwards. But yeah, that's where we are now. So uh, peace out, Tamers. See you guys soon. Have a great weekend, and hopefully more voice recovers. Mwah. See you soon. Bye bye.